so on YouTube because that song, I think it's being flagged, but I don't care. Um, yeah. So now we're sitting at for our setup is the maximum that you would want to do on Twitch before you are a Twitch partner. Um, that's the recommendation Twitch has given their non, um, their non Twitch partners is max 3,500 kilobytes. Now, I already know I have people who watch my stream who have nowhere close to 3,500 kilobytes at all, not even remotely even close for download speeds. That might be their max, but you know how it is. DSL sucks. You never ever hit your max download with DSL. Um, but we're going to go ahead and start this one up. 3,500 kilobytes. Uh, 720p, 30 frames per second. Super fast preset. The reason why I skipped it ahead is because I was kind of sick and tired of them talking. Um, and I think the music, I might even skip it more because the music is causing uh, it to be flagged on YouTube and possibly on Twitch so no one can watch my video. Pretty popular song. Really old. Like, copyright on that song, seriously. Now I'm seeing this is th this is some pretty damn good quality, some pretty stinking damn good quality. Um, now I'm not sure a hundred percent. Like I can't look at it and just know that that's thirty frames per second, or you know what I mean. Like that's what I'm asking. I'm asking for thirty frames per second, but I I don't know if that's thirty frames per second. Um. And I don't know the He's correlation between. After the handoff was uh, um, came straight here. And I know the preset, of course, uses much, 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 much more CPU bandwidth. But I don't know the correlation between. Um, like, if you need more bandwidth to upload when you increase the quality of the stream, or if that's just the codec itself or the encoding itself. Maybe somebody could help me with that, understand that a little better. I'm not seeing any pixelation at all. Even when I expand this video, I'm watching my own stream. Even when I expand that video, I'm not seeing any sort of pixelation. Of course, it's not 1080 quality, and it's not 60 frames per second, but it's a dang good quality stream right there. Okay, that's the end. So I will verify again. That is the 3,500 kilobytes per second. KBS for short. Or KBPS, whatever. Uh, 720p, 30 frames per second. And uh, super fast preset. You know, I, I really do not understand how people can even play games at 30 frames per second anymore. I just, I, 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 I can't do it. I have been spoiled for at least 10 years. At least 10 years 
I've been spoiled because I've been I've always had roughly a very powerful PC. It's it's my hobby. Um that's how a lot of other people are too. It's their hobby. They invest in things that they like to do. Well, I've always invested my money in my computers. And I to me that would be considered <laughs> the definition of hardcore. Would be a hardcore gamer. Um, but there are games out right now that at 30 frames per second, it just boggles my mind that that's for this next gen, that this is what people are accepting. Um, anyways, I'm going to probably create a couple of videos on that. That just drives me absolutely bonkers. It's just this next gen, um, is so underpowered compared to the previous gen, compared to the PC cycle, I think. Um, and I, and for the longest time, um, when they uh, were talking about how much better this would be for PC is because the con consoles were using a, a unified architecture, you know, X.864, it was like a PC. We haven't seen any benefits of that other than every single game almost that's come out for console has been a freaking 30 FPS lock. It's just ridiculous. Now, I will give the consoles this, but their unified memory architecture, they got that up on PC. They really do. As of right now, they have access to 8 gigs. They're not going to use all 8 gigs, but their video cards have access to 8 gigs on both systems. We, I only have access to 3 gigs, and I have a 780 Ti. And that's already considered, oh, that's, that's out of date. You know, a $700 graphics card I bought last year out of date because of this new setup. It's quite ridiculous. Thing still blows everything out of the water. It's pound for pound as powerful as a 980. 980 has up on it 4K resolution, but... Uh, anyway, so uh, that was a 3,500 kilobytes per second. I'm going to switch to the CPU preset of very fast, very fast, except this time I'm going to do 800, 1800, I'm going to skip 2200, because I want to see the difference maybe, I want to compare 2200 of the last uh, setup to 1800 of very fast, and see how those stack up, because you know, if somebody knows this if somebody knows these numbers when they're building a PC and they know that their internet just blatantly sucks, then what they what they could do is just go out and buy themselves, save up that money and get a badass freaking CPU that'll get them to very fast and let them stream with decent quality. You know what I mean? I mean, like, people have no decisions at all when it comes to what they're going to buy with when they want to stream I was in the dark I had equipment sitting around I didn't know it could do what it's doing now because even even when you're doing a crap ton of research people just say yeah you got to have an i7 i5 have it overclocked you know super high I got an i5, 3550. It's mid range. It's one of the cheaper ones, but it's holding up. So that's. Yeah. So let's switch to very fast. I'm going to stop it now.